Hello, this is Camrock37 again. I'm going to be doing the Gallium Beating Hearts. So what you're going to need for this is um, um, 5 milliliters of sulfuric acid, 2 graduated cylinders, or 1 if you can uh, do that. But this is way easier to do. You don't need a stir rod, but they're helpful. You really should use scupula, unless you can, unless you want to use a spoon that you never put in your mouth again, of course. Uh, something to mix stuff. I'll show you that later. Um, you'll need something to mix a funnel. You definitely need this. And the most important thing, gallium. And potassium dichromate. I mean, ammonium dichromate. Any kind of dichromate seems to work. This is the only one I could find online. Um, from the website I was buying all this glassware from, which was Home Science Tools. So, um, don't breathe this stuff in. It's a carcinogen. Um, so yeah, don't breathe that stuff in. Oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm just gonna explain it actually first. Um, so what's happening is you have your gallium in here. You're gonna um, dilute the um, sulfuric acid, um, seven and a half parts water to five parts sulfuric acid, and then you're gonna pour it in here, and then you're gonna add um, a solution of uh, ammonium or potassium dichromate to it. And it, um, what this is gonna do is it's gonna remove the um, surface tension that the uh, sulfuric acid is creating on the gallium, and it's going to make it pulsate like a heart. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and measure my sulfuric acid out. Um, that's good. You're going to take your um, funnel here, stick it in the top. I have both my um, hydrochloric and sulfuric acid in here. Just that white stuff, by the way, is um, baking soda. I would store it right next to some baking soda in case it breaks. So I'm just going to measure out this. So I'm going to use 5 milliliters. Um, which, let me actually, I can't even see the numbers. There we go. As long as you're close enough, it'll work fine. So that's almost five, just a little under. Um, so you're gonna scoot shoe cap back on, put it away. <clears throat> we can set that side for now. You can still see that, right? Yeah, so acid's right here. Um, and then you're also gonna need a cup of water. I forgot to mention that, some water from anywhere. You're gonna measure out seven and a half. Whoa, um, yeah, I wasn't paying attention there. Okay, wow, I managed just to, just to get that there. Um, yeah, so that'll work. It's just a little bit um, over, actually. Sorry, I didn't pay attention. So you're always gonna add your um, acid here. I'll go ahead and camera this. You're always going to add your acid to your water. So, you can hear that. Got really hot. Yeah, I can barely. It's really hot. Probably melt my gloves. So I'm going to do this very quickly because it burns. I'm just going to pour this directly into your gallium and see instantly that all pulled into a ball. Um, several different balls because it's pretty spread out. So uh, you have that right now. The surface tension is causing it to pull into a ball. Those are my ducks you hear by the way. Um, they're pretty noisy. 
so sorry about that. Um, so then you're gonna get your, I'm gonna set this aside, you're gonna get your ammonium dichromate. And there is no exact measurement that I've found for mixing these things. <clears throat> so, pretty much just a scoop of this and a splash of that. That's about enough. It's a really nice orange color. I really like this. It's way more orange in real life than on the camera. It's almost red. Spilled a little bit there. So yeah, you're gonna have um, that into a mixing container. And then what you're gonna do is take um, some water. Yeah, just a little bit of water. Just, I'd say that's good. Just um, a splash of water, then you're gonna swirl it, or you can use a stir rod, which I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Kind of crush it up a little bit. It's powder, so. Add a little more water, as you can see it's not dissolving, um, ooh that was probably too much. Yeah, it may have been too much, but it'll still work, just fine. Um, so here I'm going to take, um, this second, let me wash my hands, that's some sulfuric acid. I don't like that. So yeah, so you always want gloves on, because it will burn you. It didn't burn me though. Sorry, I forgot a um, dropper. So I just ran off and got that real fast. Really nasty color. <laughs> Um, okay, so then what you are going to do, I'm sorry, I'm just cleaning my pipette, pipette out a little bit. Um, it's, um, pretty nasty. It, that stuff used to be blue, it was a sulfuric acid mixture I just, um, salvaged, if I can use it later. There we go. Mix so. up. And now add this to so you can see it's a really nice pretty color um orange. Drop a little bit more. And there you go. Starts to beat like a heart. You'll get different results depending on every little variable um, from how much water you add to the dichromate um, and how much water and sulfuric acid you have together. I found that this is the be best mixture and if um, of sulfuric acid and water, seven and a half parts to five parts sulfuric acid. That seems to be the best. Um, when I tried it just like um, half and half, it was too strong for the dichromate. 
And um, so yeah, you'll get some problems with that. So I recommend sticking to that. But that, the dichromate does not matter too much. So this is a really cool little reaction here. Um, just removing the um, surface tension of the sulfuric acid there. And letting it relax for just a second. That just about covers everything. One more last little um, thing I should say. You can see this. That's paper. Because I decided it would be a better, better idea to use my gloves to um, put some super glue on a label uh, for some 30% hydrogen peroxide. And that was not a good idea because it got stuck to my glove. And you can probably see a little bit yellow there. That's the second layer of plastic showing through. So try to watch that. I'm going to have to buy some new gloves. It's, there is still the, rub, um, the rubber here. That's what that is. The yellow. Um, so yeah, it's just about everything. Be a nice little pulsating reaction. Oh yeah, sometimes it beats really fast. You can barely see it there, but um, you can see it rippling. So, yeah, that's about everything. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.